Have you ever wondered what are the spaces between your bones? What are they? What do they consist of? So, it's your joint. It's an area where two or more bones meet, and it mainly consists of three parts. The cartilage, which is a smooth, a smooth soft cushion, and cover the end of the bones. They act exactly like a piece of cut. And the ligament, which link bones together and surround them, and they act exactly like a rubber band. If you stretch it more than usual, they tear, causing serious damage. It's a novel membrane which surrounds the joint in a joint capsule and secretes a clear sticky fluid called the synovial flow. It lubricates the joint and makes movement easier. But what if you have a joint damage? How could you know? If you play a bad sport or had fallen a hard fall or passed through an accident. But what exactly happened to the joint when they are get damaged? Let's get started with the cartilage. Cartilage mainly get damaged from over usage and overweight. And its disease could be like the one in your knees when the cartilage gets thinner or totally worn out. Or that happened in your ribs when the cartilage in your ribs get inflamed and causes hard chest pain. The ligament and they are mainly damaged from moving your joint in a wrong direction that it doesn't support, like in this way. And this damage could be classified in two stages. The first stage, when the partial ligament tear, or second stage, a complete ligament tear. Synovel membrane and synovel fluid. They mainly get damage from the overusage or carrying heavy substances. And as a medical name, the inflammation of the synovel membrane could be named as synovel. But no, joints are types. According to the movement they support, they are classified like a joint in your shoulder or hips. They are named both circuit joint and allow movement in all directions. The ones in your knees and toes, which allow only bending and straightening, and called hand joint. But what if you suffer from joint pain in your elbow and knee? What should you do? You can obey an anti-inflammatory diet, which can consist of pomegranates, oranges, cherries, which are which are, can stop inflammation, legumes, which are popular for their anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, walnuts, and cherries. And thanks for listening.